Hi, welcome to the second week of Spacer Lucidity. Today I talk about fats, dinosaurs and why we are organic few. I have started using my cycle these days. Uh, you know, I really got into this whole cycling thing and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So as I was cycling between, you know, my office and going back home, I had one of these realizations. So as I was huffing and puffing and going up and slow, I was like, yes, I am burning my fat. Yeah, I'm going to be thin. And then something hit me. I realized what I'm burning, fat, is essentially the source of the entire energy on which our entire industrialized society works on. It is nothing but fat. What goes into your damn cars? Have you thought about that? You say, oh yeah, I use petrol. It's organic. Yeah, but what is it? Essentially, it is nothing but dinosaur fat compressed together to create petrol that you use to drive your car. That, that means back then, the entire organic mass of all the fat animals put together became petrol. Have you ever thought about what is our function on this planet? So what dinosaurs made up by the huge size and mass, we make up in numbers. They just lots of us eating lots of food became becoming all nice and fat so that later on when you know our civilization ends thousands of years later there'll be another one and they'll be using us the new organic fuel to run their fancy society now the thing is this is what i think we are nothing more than organic mass think about it every other animal has only one purpose let's eat have lots of babies and die and they're perfectly happy with it. Why aren't you? Because marketing has told you otherwise. That you are smart. You are intelligent. You have a car. You have a house. You must be different. But you are not. At least I think so. All living creatures, our purpose is nothing to maybe become more organic mass, reach like a certain level of, you know, fatness, so that we allow another civilization or something other to grow out of us. So anyway, so that's the question I want to pose today, that what do you think is the real purpose of humanity? I really doubt that the purpose of human life can be a big house, a car, being on the spotlight, being adored by millions. I like to think that maybe the purpose of our entire existence is to maybe allow an entire new thought to occur, maybe a new entire species to come, grow, and maybe take care of this existence more than we did. Thank you. Tune back next week for Space Lucidity. I'll see you then. And please hit subscribe. Huh. So Anurag, by your theory, I think we'll find maximum fuel in India, won't we? Haana. See, for a change, oh yeah, it'll be awesome. Imagine now India and China will be fuel rich countries. So for a change, we will have a new Abu Dhabi and all fancy stuff in our country. Yeah, for change. Yeah, and not awesome. only that. Imagine where will you find the maximum fuel in India, the best, highest quality fuel. Yeah, you, if you haven't guessed it, I'll tell you where. In Punjab and Haryana and UP, you will have maximum population and not just any population, the ghee eating population who has had this good fat will create this awesome fuel that will be most prized by everyone. So yeah, so, oh my God, imagine this realization. Now they drive fancy cars. The civilization then will also drive fancy cars with super fuel in it. And the only difference is they won't have to work for it.